Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. Got a quick one for you, but it's important nonetheless. Flexpool just got an announcement less than 30 minutes ago at time of recording that they're closing down. And there's some action that you need to do. They're closing down by November 1st. And if you have, you know, your miners pointing to Ironfish, Ethereum Classic, all that stuff, obviously you're going to need to switch and you need to go to a different pool. Those are easy to take care of. Um, payouts will be... Uh, as mentioned in the announcement, any unpaid balances that are above the cost to transact the payout. So there's a minimum amount you got to hit, but as long as you're above that, uh, they will be automatically paid out um, as soon as possible uh, after the pool shuts down. Uh, you can make changes to your settings for your payout uh, if you haven't reached that threshold or if you have. Uh, this is not required, though. So just basically get to that payment threshold and you'll get your Iron Fish and Ethereum Classic. The, the other one is Chia, right? So they were a big one in the Chia space, from my understanding, at least from many of you in the community. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, you know, the beautiful thing is, is if, if you were using pullable plots uh, where you weren't solo mining Chia uh, on your hard drives or whatever, and you was using FlexPool uh, for your pullable plots, then you could just switch pools. You don't have to replot anything. You could just switch pools, no problem. There's guides on how to do that. I've done a number of videos on it as well. Uh, but you know, there's specific devices like the Evergreen Miner that might be a little bit different. And what they're saying is, is because FlexPool is not affiliated with Evergreen Miner, they're saying to please, you know, uh, check with the Evergreen team at evergreenminer.com or the Discord for any steps that need to be taken for change. However, do not berate the Evergreen Miner team. You got to November 1st, there's plenty of time, don't freak out. Um, but you know, just check to see because they might have like documentation to help you, you know, switch over or whatever. They did not uh, stop using the Flex Farmer, which was one of the things that a lot of Chia miners liked and were using. Uh, so Evergreen did stop using it because they had their own, um, you know, set up uh, earlier this year in August 2023 last month. Uh, but, you know, FlexPool is not aware of the process or any information or whatever the pool cutover process is or anything to do with their software and hardware. So if you do have your Evergreen miners on FlexPool, uh, check out the Evergreen Miner Discord or reach out to the team and, and see if you need to do anything. If you need to do anything at all, you might not need to. Um, if you use the Gigahorse compression plots with Flex Farmer, you must change over your Gigahorse software. It works almost exactly like the Chia software. So if you use the official software before, it should be easy to understand. If you use the Blade Bit compressed plots or uncompressed plot NFT uh, plots without Flex Farmer, you would be using the Chia software already, right? So you don't need to do anything with that. Point being is this pool is shutting down. It's closing down on November 1st. You shouldn't need to do any action, but if you were using Flex Farmer, um, you need to switch over. If you were using Evergreen, check with them. If you're using BladeBit or Gigahorse, just follow the steps in the announcement. There's plenty of guides out there. Uh, and just make sure you pay attention. You can even mine on flex pool to about, you know, depending on how often you hit your payout threshold, you know, five, seven days before it closes down and then swap over in Hive OS, you can manually set it to switch at a certain time and date to whatever pool you want. Um, obviously that depends on what you have set up like FPGAs, just go into your batch file and make sure you swap over. You're going to be mining to a pool that doesn't exist. You're going to get a bunch of errors and you're not going to really earn anything. So just make sure you prepare to swap over. Uh, there's plenty of other pools out there on miningpoolstats.stream, Hero Miners, Miner Pool, uh, Cryptex uh, for Ironfish, and then on Ethereum Classic, there's just a plethora of them. So just swap over, be smart, don't wait till last minute. And I just wanted to make sure that you all are aware. It's sad to see Flex Pool go. Uh, I hope the team and the devs and Chris and, and the colleagues that, and friends that I made uh, along the way in our crypto mining adventure, I wish them nothing but the best. Um, of luck i don't know why i don't have any reasoning i don't have any insight uh i'm clueless um as to what the decision was but 
Either way, let's wish them the best and make sure you swap over your miners. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the like button on the way out. Get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you.